I cut up newspapers and old cereal boxes, tear pages from sketchbooks and rip words from books I'll never read. I brush some paint on paper and glue images onto cardboard. And I call these things constructions, but they're really just collages trying to take shape. You see, it was in San Francisco about five months ago when I held the hand of my youngest sister and told her to get well, even though I knew she would die soon. Her kidneys had shut down from years of drinking. She was only 45. She lay in the hospital bed half awake as the dialysis machine churned rhythmically. The whites of her eyes were yellow, her stomach bloated. The nurse asked, more ice water? And my sister managed, yes, please, thank you very much. Some say death is the final doorway to God, or that it ushers in an expanded state of consciousness, or that it's nothing at all, just white noise, pleasant and unending. And I realize now that I just don't care anymore. Death is, it is, and that's enough for me. These memories used to feel like gifts, but now they interrupt my meetings at work, they grab hold of me in the grocery line, and they crawl into the folds of my dreams at night. The memory of her singing karaoke at my wedding. The undeniable shakiness of her hands when she visited out of the blue years ago. Her nervous smile and her beautiful dark hair, and the silence of so many unreturned phone calls. She was happiest and most at peace in the water, swimming in the ocean on family vacations down in Florida, or fresh out of college on diving excursions with scientists, with underwater archaeologists, back when her future seemed so much more clear. And I've tried to imagine the joy she must have felt discovering shipwrecks in the Caribbean. The ocean, a mystery to decipher, the ocean this immense new thing to understand, and perhaps to love. So today, again, for no good reason, I reach for another random word, for another image torn from a forgotten book, and I just keep making. A word or two here, a scribble of paint, another ripped photograph. And I want to believe that one day something new, perhaps even beautiful, will eventually emerge from all of these pieces.